everyone. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Sherrard Show. I am your host, Sherrard. Hope you're having a wonderful Sunday evening. I'm so excited for today's episode because today's episode is entitled, The Future is Looking Bright. And the reason why the future is looking bright is because we have four dynamite individuals on the show that is bringing back the soul in music. And we're going to be talking to them as well as their dad, who is a manager and also a very talented individual as well. But before we begin, The Sherrard Show is brought to you by iHeartRadio. You can see The Sherrard Show and listen to our podcast on iHeartRadio, as well as Comcast NBC, the Rewind Network. You can watch us on Friday evenings, 5 o'clock Pacific Time and 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And then lastly, The Sherrard Show is brought to you by SMCC Nonforprofit, the Sharp-Minded Cultural Center, where we teach kids how to sing, how to dance, how to perform, as well as music lessons. Just check out thesherardshow.com for more details. Now, ladies and gentlemen, these, these individuals that are on the show, they started their careers back on December 4th, 2010. And it was interesting how it got started. Their dad performed some new edition and then dared them to go ahead and replicate it. And they met the challenge and now here they are. They are charting, setting records. And this is what it was like before the Jackson 5 became huge because these gentlemen are on their way there. And I'm so honored to have them on the show. Meet the Mac 4. Welcome, gentlemen, to the Sherrard Show. How are you all? How you, How you doing? doing? You know, I, I've been keeping very close tabs of you all on Instagram and watching you all's performance. And I kind of found myself dancing to a lot of your music. So I really appreciate you um, on that. Now, let's uh, first kick it to you, um, Dad. Let's talk to the dad first. Now, um, how proud of your boys are you, Kevin? I'm humbled and honored and proud to be their father. I should, if I want to look like I'll be Hollywood, I would have sunglasses on because I'm teary-eyed because I'm sitting here with them. <laughs> now, it's been a long road for you, but now tell us a little bit about what inspired you to inspire them to where they are today. 2006, three out of the four were at a new edition concert. Duck, the baby, he was in my wife's stomach while we was at the um, concert, and they started dancing. These three started dancing the whole concert, and um, once we left, you know, we walk and we leaving and all that old good stuff. And they say, Dad, we want to be like New Edition. Mind you, that's 2006. So, you know, I shrugged it off like, okay, uh-huh, okay. Because, you know, we just left the uh, concert. Fast forward four years to 2010, Duck's here. And uh, whew, um, we sitting there, um, I'm talking to one of my older sons, and I'm sitting there listening to New Edition, uh, any heartbreak, right? So I'm getting up. I'm dancing, so I, he's nine at the time. He's 19 now. He think he's my father now. <laughs> I bet him. You know, I got up, you know, old school. I say, I bet you can't hit this, right? Mm -hmm. Surprisingly, he got up and hit it. Hit the step, right? I say, okay. Cool. He comes down, say, what y'all doing? Runs back upstairs. Dancer, that's why they call him dance. He comes down. He pops right in. Duck was sleep. But uh, to make a long story short, that same night, they did it. Uh, the three of them, you know, they was, you know, they was doing it. And uh, I, I thought nothing of it. I saw my wife when she came home. I said, look at the boys, right? I thought no more of it. That Monday I came home from work, all four of them jumped me and said, Dad, when are we going to rehearse? And I say, rehearse what? They say, no, listen. I said, come on. I said, what? And I told them, I said, listen. I say, no addition, work very hard, and they don't play around. They work and, and uh, perform every day, you know, rehearse. They said, we ready. We down for the challenge. And here you go. This is Mac 4. Ten years later. Very impressive, and we're going to talk more about that in a second. Now, let's get to our audience wants to know who is who. So let's start with the first one on the front. Now, what's your name? I'm Kevin, and they call me KJ. And just like Dad said, I'm 19. Oh, my goodness. He's grown, ladies and gentlemen. We got KJ right there. Now, right behind you is Mr. Cool. Now, let's hear your first name. My name is Kayvon. They call me Cool, and I'm 18. He's cooling on the other side of the pillow. And then we have the dancer, 
And now, what's your name, young man? I'm K Love. They call me Dancer, and I'm 16. Mercy. And then we have the lead singer back there. Is that correct? Uh, no, sir. I am not the lead singer. <laughs> You're not the lead singer. Well, it's so funny because every video I see, I see you up front getting down and things like that. So in my mind, you're the lead singer, but you're a quartet. But nonetheless, let's hear your name. I'm Keith. They call me Duck, and I'm 13. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Now, now, any one of you all can answer this from the group, but what has it been like um, from the process of when you started on December 4th to now, um, here it is in November 1st, 2020. What's the journey been like? The journey has been tough. We've been through a lot of challenges. Uh, we've been through a lot of, how should I say it? Ups and downs. Yeah, ups and downs, like bogus contracts. And they're trying to sign us over to like, sell our soul. But no, we're not going for that. So you've seen your share of dirty deals just in the 10 years you've been doing it. Is that right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, what about Mr. Cool? What has it been like for you? Um, like KJ said, it's hard because people in the business try to trick you and use you. And you just got to be aware of that. Now, it's funny because um, you think with great music, people would just want to accommodate the talent they see, but people don't understand it's a business side of it and it can be pretty dirty. What about you, Mr. Dancer? What has it been like uh, for your journey? The journey, there has been some bumps in the road, but even there always light at the end of the tunnel. So we're going to keep on going. So in the midst of it, you got to keep on dancing. Is that correct? Yes, sir. <laughs> and then and then we have the young the youngster, uh, the baby in the background, um, just fresh into the business. But what has your experience been, young man? It has been hard learning, like learning from the greats like Jackson and the New Edition. They taught us how, and my mom and dad, they taught us how to read contracts, how to not, how like read between the lines so they won't screw you over. But it's been, it's been tough. Now, um, Dad, I want to kick it to you. Now, how have you been keeping them grounded um, as artists? Because superstardom is just right around the corner. But what are some of the principles you've shared with them to keep them grounded? First and foremost, I gotta thank God, but my wife, right? They, we're known as the modern day Joseph and uh, Catherine Jackson, right? <laughs> so, um, man, my wife and, 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 and the fellas, you know, since the start, they were young, you know? And my wife, music, you know, we just tell them, don't forget where you came from, study, schoolwork is first, and, and might I say, he graduated with all honors, and though ever since this started, they've been on the honor roll. Congratulations, gentlemen. Congratulations. That's wonderful to hear that. You all are really headed in the right direction. You know, um, oftentimes I have had a lot of different Motown artists um, on the show and different um artists that have stopped by and a lot of them have started singing when they were early, um, very young. But the thing that's very interesting about them that you gentlemen are so fortunate for is you have a dad, you have your father there that's guiding you through the business um, out of love and keeping you out of a lot of things that a lot of these other artists weren't fortunate to be able to avoid. So you definitely want to appreciate what you have in terms of that. Now, um, would you consider yourself um, like a Joe Jackson, Kevin, in terms of cracking that whip? To be totally honest with you, K, everything <laughs> rolls through KJ. I mean, when all of them, actually, the fun I have is when they rehearsing. If one of them mess up, they do push-ups. You know, Joseph, uh -oh. I got to give him his props, okay? I'm not like him, right? But I, I honor him because without him setting that standard, not, I don't tell them to go get the whip and none of that stuff. I don't have to do that. They exercise and that builds their mind, body, and, and gives them discipline. So, that is very good. That's very good. Now, um, in terms of music, um, let's start with, I'm going to give thought to you, you dancer. Now, um, who inspires you or what particular artist has inspired you? Because looking at you on Instagram and YouTube, I see you have a lot of rhythm and you can really get down. And when you when when, when everybody's doing their steps, like the Temptations, you really stand out. But what is some of your inspiration in terms of uh, groups or individual singers? 
um, groups. You had to say, I had to say the Jacksons, um, Temptations, um, TLC, which we, me and my father just got finished watching their movie in the room. Um, individual, I had to say Michael Jackson, James Brown, Neo. It all depends because every different style of music, like you got tap dancing, you got salsa dancing, you got square dancing, you got line dancing, all of it comes from one beat. And the beat that I dance to is the beat of my own drum. So. You know, all the, you know, all the music uh, artists you were mentioning to are some really old school things. You know, you're only 16 years old and you're talking James Brown, Michael Jackson, Temptation. These are these are people you and your dad and I grew up listening to. But you're coming from a great stock. Now, what about you, Mr. Cool? Um, kind of looking like a, a, a young David Ruffin. <laughs> <laughs> Who are some of your inspirations? Um, it's pretty much what Dancer said because we all have the same similar genre of music that we listen to. And we grew up listening to Jackson 5, New Edition, and a couple early 2000s music, like um, music Soul Child, Neo, Mario, and things like that. Oh, and we also get some by dancing. A lot of our dancing from our mom, she taught us how to dance. Wow, that is impressive. Well, that is so impressive. My dad, too. He talks I dance as well. So, 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 Kevin, you're you're a fascinating da dancer as well. Is that correct? <laughs> <laughs> I try to be <laughs> very good. My, now, wife, ladies, my wife, she my can wife can really cut a rug. Oh, there we go. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Now, for you all who just joined us in the Sherrard Show, we are talking to the hit makers, Mac Four, as well as their dad, Kevin, who is the um, manager of the group and also the Patriot, doing some big things. Now, these gentlemen just landed. They set history, ladies and gentlemen. They just landed their own television show. Let's talk a little bit about your, your new television show. What is it all about? Uh, uh, I think... Is going to be based on our 10 year anniversary that's going that's coming up on December 4th. The, uh, the TV show is called Mac for the Vision, which is on Slide TV Live. That's only on Roku TV. Very and, good. And what, what you're going to see is the behind the scenes of our daily lives, uh, our rehearsals, and our interviews. Wow. And now, now the thing that's so amazing that I like about you all, first of all, is that a lot of groups um, a lot these days just mainly sing. Some of them, um, you know, do a lot of hiding behind computers and synthesizing and things like that. But you all can really sing and you can really dance. And when I look at that, I'm thinking Temptations. I'm thinking Four Tops. I'm thinking those groups from yesteryear. And then you all have the snazzy outfits to complement that. Whose idea is that? It's all of us when, when we put our heads together. Mm -hmm. Now, um, where do you look to take this um, as a group? I'm going to start with the young man in the back, uh, the, um, the youngest, the baby. Where do you all look at? Where are your plans to, uh, to take Mac 4 from here? Our plan is to make it to the best of the world, best in the world. Wow, that is a beautiful thing. What about you, um, Mr. Koo? Where do you look to see this go? Uh, to take it to the top. Good. Now, you all are well on your way. Now, one song that you did um, I really enjoyed was the cover for Neo. I mean, you had me jamming on that. And I know, somebody was clever enough to really do some great choreographing, but also some great graphicking with that. Kevin, tell me a little bit about uh, what inspired you all to want to cover Neo's song. Well, Doug was singing it around the house. It, it, I think it was on radio a couple of days ago mm -hmm. that day when we decided to um, make that our cover song. And it was just stuck in his head. He, he just sung it all around the house every morning, uh, afternoon, night. And well, <laughs> we decided <laughs> to make this, make it our cover and uh, try to make it the uh, best song that we have. Mm -hmm. uh, we had Neo looking at it, and I think he was impressed. He didn't say anything, but he just liked our stuff. Well, that's quite impressive. You know, Neo is scheduled to be a guest on the show. Um, I will ask him that. Is that okay? 
That's why. That's why. Okay, yes, I'm going to ask him what did he think about that. Now, um, I'm going to kick it to you, uh, Dad, for a moment, and let's get your opinion on a couple of thoughts here. Now, you grew up um, listening to Sam Cooke, Jackie Wilson, Temptations, Marvin Gaye, Smokey Robinson, people like that. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Now, with your sons, um, the blessing that you have with your four very talented sons, is that what you're looking to create, that song, that sound that talks to women instead of talking about them? Exactly. And all of them will say that they will never write a song or, or perform a, a song that's going to disrespect women. Amen. So, um, and as far as the, um, the way they dress, they will not sag. That's that's out. They Very won't do good. it. Oh, wow. You know, um, you, you come off dad as Joe Jackson, but you look like Ike Turner. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm teasing you. I'm teasing you, but very good. Now, now let's let's talk a bit about um, what you have upcoming because you always are busy with things, not only with your talk show, but you do have a performance coming up. Is that correct? It's actually going to be a, a virtual concert for our ten year anniversary for our third album. Mm -hmm. Right here, it's called Mac for the Journey Continues. Oh, wow. Which is going to have 10 cuts, and we're going to be forming each and every one of them. <laughs> wow. Now, these days, gentlemen, do you all get nervous when you perform in front of large crowds, or are you beyond that point? We're beyond that point. A lot of people ask us, are we nervous when we perform on stage, and we just say no, because we were taught to never be nervous in our uh, school, our elementary school, our our dance teacher, she taught mm -hmm. us to never be afraid because it's just, just go out there and have fun. Don't even worry about what they're going to say. Well, what about you, Dad? How do you feel when it's 10 minutes to show time and they're about to go on? Are you nervous for them? I'm going to be totally honest with you. The <laughs> first couple of shows, I was like, do, 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 you know, Right. Mm -hmm. As I mellowed out and they said, chill out, we got this. And mm -hmm. when they told me to chill out, they was only 10 and 11 years old. And I used, I used to have to wear shades. Right. Because the crowd used to go off. The little girls would run up to the front of the stage. I'm like, would you look at this? Right. <laughs> and, uh, and the funny thing is, people will never know. They be actually having fun on stage because if one of them are out of step, you could see them talking to one another. And I got to give my wife credit because what she did, she taught them in the early days of rehearsing to rehearse and close their eyes and feel one another to know exactly where they are. They never ever trained with mirrors until we got out here in Atlanta at the YMCA. Now, um, your wife is a performer as well, or was a singer? She danced, she danced, and she was a manager at a theater in Baltimore. So a lot of times she would take them to the shows. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. she's very, when I say she's very instrumental, 25 years we've been together. Wow, okay? wow, so wow. It's a blessing. That's wonderful to hear. Now, you know, oftentimes I have so many different individuals, young and old, who are in the music industry. We talk music. And a lot of people's opinions differ in terms of what music is today opposed to yesteryear. For me, I am more of a fan of the Smokey Robinson era and the Sam Cooke era more so than today, because a lot of times that's just a lot of loud noise to me. But the music of yesteryear, just like with my daughter, when I pop in some Smokey Robinson and Sam Cooke, they don't care what area, era it is in. They just love that music. And that is why Mac 4 is so fascinating to me, because it seems like you're on that road that 30 years from now, people are going to listen to you and it's going to be timeless music. Is that is that the plan? Yes, sir. They want to be the they want to be great. And, and one thing Michael Jackson said, may he rest in peace, study the greats to be great. And they went they went to the Apollo, you know. They, they auditioned at the Apollo, and one of the hardest judges there was, you know, he was all like, oh, next person, next person, next person. When they got up and, and performed, he got up, he started filming, and at the end, we was just trying to walk out because we were just doing the spurs for the spurs. He said, no, 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 come here, young man. He said, y'all going to be legends in the making. 
So, wow, that is that is absolutely impressive. Now, have you all tried um, America's Got Talent and places like that as well? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, and and have you performed there, or is that something coming soon? Uh, we we already done that. We, we auditioned for it. Uh, fortunately, we didn't get caught, but it's okay. The journey continues. That is wonderful. Now, um, you know, being in the business and industry, you all, all said when I asked all four of you all what the industry was like, you said it's been hard, it's been difficult, dealing with a lot of shady people, et cetera, et cetera. But tell me, what is the thing that keeps you all going? Now, I'll start it off with you, uh, Mr. Dancer. What keeps you going at the ripe old age of 16? <laughs> um, we got to remember first that we're a family. Before Mac 4, we got to remember that Mac and Mac 4 stands for McKinney. And McKinney, that means we're a brotherhood. And what about you? What about you, Mr. Cool? Um, it means to just keep going despite any trouble because eventually you're going to get to where you want to be. Wonderful. And what about you, the baby? <laughs> Mine is you never give up. And I, we have to remember that we are brothers. Never let our ego take control. You control that, your ego. That's beautiful. Um, and what about you, uh, the, the big, tough 19-year-old who's just ready to move on? <laughs> uh, you got to remain humble. You can't be arrogant whatsoever because as soon as you become arrogant, things will change before you know it. So you always got to remain humble. That is amazing that you say that because, um, you know, one of the things, I don't know, your dad knows this very well, but um, in The Temptations, Barry Gordy, um, who's also featured, looking to be featured in the show uh, this month, um, 90 years old, but his intention was The Temptations was to always, every few years, rotate The Temptations so that people could see them as a group instead of as one lead singer. But then David Ruffin came along and his voice was so distinguished that you couldn't you couldn't hear the rest of the members. Everybody just wanted to hear David Ruffin and it became David Ruffin and the Temptations based upon him being so arrogant. But Barry Gordy told him no one is bigger than a group. So David Ruffin got kicked out of the group in 1965 and had to go on and do his own solo career, which was not as successful as his career with the Temptations. The reason why I say that is because to your point, young man, if you if he remained humble, he could have been a temptation for life. Is that right, Kevin? Yes, sir. Without a doubt. That's one of the things Duck hit on when people say that he's the lead singer. Mm -hmm. All of them quickly to say, no, we're not the lead singer because I tease them all the time. I'll say KJ and Mac 4. No, nah, dad. Or cool and Mac 4 or dancing with Mac 4. They say, no. Then I say, oh, ain't nobody come to see you, Otis. And <laughs> yeah. Dad making it rough on you. Very good. Ladies and gentlemen, again, we are talking to Mac for um, these young gentlemen. This is November 1st, 2020. And you heard them here on the Sherrard show. They have big things coming up. They have a television show. They have an album. Uh, please hold the album up. You'll see it on your screen as well. They have an album that's coming out and it's the Mac for the journey continues. And these men are stellar there. They can sing like nobody's business and they're going to be performing a um, uh, a tidbit of one of their songs. What is the song you're going to be performing for us momentarily? We're going to be uh, previewing our song Superhero. Superhero. Is that something that's dedicated to your dad? Uh, <laughs> it's just about being there in a girl's life. You have to be strong no matter what happens. Very that's good. Very good. You know, I want to I want to say, say something very commendable uh, to your dad first, and then we're going to um, I'm going to ask you a couple questions. Then we're going to go ahead and get uh, you set up for your performance. But, you know, and what makes it so uh, wonderful to me is that, um, you know, you're making these men, these boys into men, Kevin. And it's wonderful to see that no sagging. I don't see any earrings. They're clean cut. Um, and they're men that like women. And that's all we, and it is nothing, no offense to anyone, but this is the way my dad raised me. Keep doing what you're doing, fellas. You keep on appreciating your dad because you have two things going for you. Three, as a matter of fact, you got the Lord on your side. You got your dad and your mom and you got each other's brothers. You all aren't best friends, you're brothers. So the wonderful thing about that is that when the big money comes, there's no, no need to be arguing because it's all going to stay in the family. Is that all right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.
All right. Now, what? where can we, uh, my fans that are texting me and chatting me right now, where can they follow you and keep up with you? Instagram, social media handles, et cetera. When you, uh, you can go to our website, www.mac4.com. You can see all of our social medias, our Twitter, our mm -hmm. Facebook, our Instagram, uh, our music sites. Uh, they all spell M-A-C-F-O-U-R. Our um, social media handles are all, all under Mac for ENT. That's M-A-C-F-O-U-R. I got it. Can I say something? Yes, sir. I got, I'm proud of them. And I'm like I, I said, I'm their biggest fan beside my wife. Um, they have been ranked number one on the R&B charts and River Island Nation for almost 18 months. We slid down to number two last week. And lo and behold, we're back at number one again. Congratulations. Now, what is the song that is uh, charting so high? Uh, hey, girl. And um, he did it. Um, all of them did uh, um, tribute to LL Cool J, which is on there, Love You Better. No one's never did a cover, Love You Better. That's mm -hmm. on there. That's doing well. Um, hey, girl, 2020. And because of you. Very good. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Well, you know, personally for me, um, I want to do I want to see you do the cover for Neo. I mean, you could do superhero. I love that. But my favorite is the cover for Neo um, with the dancing and everything. OK, so call me spoiled. So what? But that's the song I want to see, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but um, I, we're going to go into this in one moment. But let me ask you a question, gentlemen. This is all for everyone. I want to hear from everyone um, on this one. What kind of advice for those young people who are in Chicago, Philadelphia, Florida, um, they're all over the world watching this right now, and they have groups just like you, and they want to get into the industry. What kind of helpful advice would you give them to be able to um, help them through the industry? I'm going to start with you, uh, KG. K KJ. KJ, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, my advice, you can't. You can't get the big head and you always got to read your contracts because if you sign a dirty contract, then they got you and always remain humbled. Very good. Very good. Um, what about you, Mr. Koo? Um, My advice would be to always look up information on the person you're working with to see what they have done in the past and how they can help you in the future. And then what about you, Mr. Dancer? Um, my advice to them is always follow your dreams and never give up because once you get your foot halfway in the door, it opens for you. So you got to keep on going no matter what. Fascinating. And what about you, uh, the baby of the family? Remember, there's always going to be no's, but there's always, remember, there's always going to be no's, but there's always going to be that one yes. So always strive to get that yes. Boy, oh boy, these are some wise kids uh, uh, beyond their years. I love it. And what about you, um, Joe, Kevin, I, Turner, Jackson? <laughs> Read your contracts. Work together. Don't let nobody get in your ear. Always work hard. Work hard. Study. Study. Train. Train. And have fun. And have fun. Hey, man, that's all right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get them all set so that they can go ahead and do their uh, performance uh, tidbit of one of their songs. When we come back from this uh, brief commercial break, you will hear the voices of Mac 4. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Sherrard Show. I'm your host, Sherrard, having a wonderful time talking to the very talented, gifted Mac 4 about their career and all the wonderful things they have coming up. If you don't, if you don't know who they are, I'm sure you're going to know now. They are Their social media handles is right below on the screen. Definitely follow them. Give them a shout out. They're doing big, big things. And now, ladies and gentlemen, they're going to be singing a tidbit of one of their hit songs. What's the song you're going to be singing? We're going to be singing Because of You. Because of you, take it away. This is for all you ladies out there. You're my everything. You're all I ever wanted. Thought it was a dream, but it seems to be far from it. I want you and only you. And I swear, girl, I could spend whatever on it. And I know I said the same thing every single time. All because of you, I want you to be forever mine. Can't help but think to myself, but what's this feeling in my heart I just felt? Got you on my mind every single time. Can't get nothing done. Gotta get away. 
Got to stay away, but there's nowhere to run. She's the sweetest thing on earth. Right then and there, I thought it was worth. Got me in a trap, girl. Got to be the best, girl. You know what I'm saying is true. And, and I know this much is true, baby. You have become my addiction. addiction. I'm so strung out on you. I can barely move, but I like it. So then it's all because of you. <laughs> Very good, gentlemen. Very good. Now, where can one purchase your album? You can purchase our album on Google Play, uh, iTunes, uh, all the streaming mute, uh, streaming websites. The streaming version of the album comes out December 4th. But if you can't wait, you can get the physical signed copy. We'll sign an autograph for you by on PayPal at mac mac 4 ent at gmail.com. I want my autograph. I want my autograph copy, la uh, ladies and gentlemen. I want it from here. I'm making my claim now. I want my autograph copy from Mac Four. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Now you see why the future is bright when you have gentlemen like this. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, you can also pre-order it on, on November twentieth. It's going to be available for that. Where can we pre-order it? Spotify. Very good. Well, gentlemen, I want to thank you so much for being our guest on the Sherrard Show um, this evening. We really appreciate having you, as well as having your dad, Kevin uh, McKinney, on the show as a featured guest. These gentlemen are doing big things. The future is bright for them. You definitely want to support what they're doing as well. And ladies and gentlemen, um, stay tuned for our next episode of the Sherrard Show, where we're going to have Mr. Rick Warren on the show. Ray Lee Oder is going to stop by, as well as the legendary Mike Tyson. He's going to be on the show as well. So you definitely want to check us out at Comcast, NBC, iHeartRadio, as well as Anchor. So I'm Sherrard. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you on next episode. Bye-bye now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take care now. Bye-bye.